Hi, it's Nick from the Run Testers, and this is our review of the Bose Sport earbuds. So what do you need to know about these? Uh, let's start with the price. They're $179.95 in the UK and $179 in the US, but some kind of quite high in the kind of uh, bracket of sports headphones. That's kind of where Jaber, Jabra, and uh, kind of Sony put their sports headphones. They're kind of premium ones, but it's still less than kind of Beats and Apple's Top Dogs and the B&O, B.O. Play E8 Sport is right, you know, miles away at 300 pounds. Um, basically, they're both these truly wireless sports headphones. They replace the SoundSport Free. Um, they have come with a carry case slash charger and they kind of sit below the quiet comfort headphones in Bose's range. These are this kind of new active noise cancellation, truly wireless buds. They're kind of £100 more, but these are much more sports focused. Um, they have a kind of a closer fitting, more secure design. Um, and they also don't have the active noise cancellation. The design, the kind of key thing to say is if you know, if you're familiar at all with the SoundSport 3, which was Bose's previous truly wireless sports headphones, um, these stick out a lot less. Uh, the SoundSport 3 really did stick out quite a long way from the ear, which kind of made the bounce a little on the run and kind of wind would whistle through wasn't the ideal fit really for running. Uh, the Bose Sport earbuds are still quite um, big for sports headphones compared to things like the JBud Vista, but they are um, smaller and they sit closer to your uh, to your head, so you don't get that kind of real protrusion protrusion of headphone that you did with the SoundSport 3. Uh, they're not really like a fully in-ear style headphone. Um, this kind of this whole kind of stay stay here tip that they've got um, has kind of a wing tip and this kind of little like, flange here which kind of sits close to the ear canal but doesn't burrow right in. Um, I kind of prefer that, I find this more comfortable, but it does mean it doesn't block out external noise. There's no passive uh, noise cancellation or indeed active noise cancellation, which is starting to crop up on quite a few headphones these days. There's none of that on these. They just kind of sit comfortably in the ear and block out a little bit of external noise. Three sizes of these in the box to try and help you find kind of the perfect fit for you. Uh, the controls are very basic as well. Uh, it's kind of a double tap on either side or kind of do you something. So on the right, you can double tap to play pause, and on the left, you can double tap to either skip a track or you can set it up to let you know how much battery is left. You can also hold the right earbuds to get your um, voice assistant up, whether that's Siri or whatever else. So really, yeah, there's not much there. You can't you control the volume, you can't even skip back. It's quite got a basic set of controls. Uh, the app also offers very little, to be honest. Um, you connect the headphones up and you can use it for updates, but there's no EQ settings or anything like that in there. It gives you some tips and you can change what you want the left earbud to do in terms of either skip or uh, give you an indication of battery life. So there's not much going on there either. Uh, there's no, and there's also no other features that you're getting on other things like active noise cancellation or a transparency mode or hear through so you, you can be more aware of your surroundings. Nothing like that going on. Uh, battery life is just five hours in the earbuds, which is okay. There are better ones now though, like the Jabra, the J uh, Jabra Elite Active 75T, the JBud Vista, the Sony uh, WF, whatever it is, uh, noise cancelling sports headphones have like a lot longer battery life. So, and there's only 10 more hours in this case. And it's, you know, it's quite big. It's a lot bigger than the AirPods case. It's a lot bigger than the JBud Vista case for not having much battery. So it's not outstanding that, but there is a kind of a 15 minute quick charge function, which will get you up to um, two hours of playback, which is, that is pretty good. but. In general, it's, it's on the poor side of what you'd expect from 180 pound headphones. Uh, and the waterproof rating is IPX4, which is kind of sweat and water resistant. It's not waterproof. Uh, there are headphones out there that are like the Jaybird Vista, but to be honest, I've used IPX4 headphones a lot and I've never had any problems with water damage. So I think these are fine on that front. They're just not quite as highly rated as some other sports headphones out there. On paper, uh, the Bose Sport earbuds aren't actually very impressive. Um, they don't have much battery life, they have no extra features, they look quite big compared to um, other options out there. However, I will say that the running performance for me has been absolutely fantastic. The one thing I think you do really get with Bose, uh, along with sound quality, is a really comfortable fit, and these are exceptional for that. The um, wing tip isn't kind of firm at all in your ear, um, it's very soft, but also very secure, and that kind of the way the uh, in-ear bit sits, rather than digging into your ear canal, I find more comfortable. I find with in-ear headphones, they tend to burrow loose a little bit as well during runs, and there was none of that with these headphones. They um, were entirely secure on runs, indoor cycles, even actually like kind of jumping around, uh, kind of strength workouts. Uh, so I was really, really impressed with the fit, I have to say. Um, like I do tend to need a wingtip to keep headphones in place or an ear hook when I'm running, um, but 
I've never had a wing tip that's as comfortable as this, basically. It's either, if you normally have to have the biggest one that's really jigging into my ear, like I had with the B&O BO Play E8 Sport, and that was fine, it was very secure, but it did mean it wasn't that comfortable to wear for a long time. Whereas the Bose headphones, you know, you could wear for the full five hours of their battery life very comfortably, I think. You know, I'll come home from a run, I'll, you know, I'll have a shower and I'll go and work and I'll put them straight back in and listen to them all day. So I do think they really excel on that front. Um, yeah, I've done long runs with them, short runs with them, windy runs, wet runs, very sweaty runs, and they haven't moved at all. And, and they haven't needed adjusting at all either, which is also something that annoys me with headphones. Even if ones that don't drop out, if they're constantly burrowing a little bit loose, then I find it's almost as annoying as them falling out, but I have to keep tapping them into place. Uh, the controls, basic as they are, are also quite easy to use on the run. It double tap, it's quite responsive. I'd say eight times out of 10, it will register my command first time, um, which is pretty good. A lot of time you have to do even more, but you do obviously have to get your phone out to do things like volume uh, and stuff like that. But overall, really, really surprisingly impressed of these. I've started to reach for them ahead of any other headphones when I go for my runs, just because the fit is so comfortable and the sound is very good, which we're about to come on to. So Bose headphones, you'd expect kind of business when it comes to sound quality. Um, obviously, they're not the they're quiet comfort ones, the new very expensive, truly wireless the headphones the company have created, but these are still very, very good on, on the sound quality front. Um, they're really bright and clear, basically. Um, every kind of instrument and the vocals all come through with great separation. You can really pick everything out and it sounds kind of almost airy and kind of, it seems like there's room for the music to breathe in your ears almost, despite the fact they're truly wireless headphones. Um, they're also very loud, which is good, by Busy Roads. I found there's plenty of power there. And the bass um, is actually surprisingly punchy. The Sony um, WF100, something like that, um, sports headphones are really bassy. They, these aren't as bassy as that, but they are quite bassy. They're probably bassier than the BO Play E8 Sport headphones I've used. There's a good bit of power there. There's kind of more than enough for me. I don't prefer really bassy music, so um, I prefer actually the kind of real bright kind of clarity of the kind of vocals and stuff you get from these headphones, but I think there is a good amount of bass there. It's a bit of a shame you can't affect, change the EQ and pump up the bass if you, even more if you wanted to. I'm surprised Bose don't offer that in the app, but you know, I'm not someone who spends a lot of time fiddling with that kind of thing, uh, so it doesn't bother me too much, but it is a bit of a shame that many other companies are doing it and both aren't. But yeah, the sound quality is really exceptional. Uh, I think basically the BO Play E8 Sport headphones, I think are better, they do sound better, but they're 300 pounds. The Sony um, noise cancelling ones sound fantastic, but I can't make them stay in, my, stay in my ears on the run. And I think if you're really bassy and could make that work, you'd probably prefer the sound quality of them because they are so bassy. But um, at 180 pounds, I don't think there's anything better like the Jabra Elite Active 75T sound very good, the JBud Vista sound very good, but I prefer the sound profile of these Bose headphones. So verdict, should you buy these? I think there is a case of buying these, uh, but you might have to have quite a similar profile to me, actually, to be honest, because uh, they are expensive, they're £180, and their actual feature set is very limited compared to some of the other headphones in that area. You don't get the hear-through features that you will get on um, the Sony headphones, uh, the Jabra headphones, you don't get the tiny case of the Jaybird Vista and the very small kind of profile of the headphones. Um, and you don't get the battery life of those headphones either. Like you're really not getting anything like that and you can't do anything in the app to change the EQ settings. So all those kind of features which are on other headphones that are cheaper or around the same price, they aren't here. But the standout feature that these do have is that incredible fit. It's so comfortable. If you're someone who struggles to keep headphones in your ears without them being painful because of the kind of the wingtip like I do, these might be your best choice to us. They really are comfortable to wear for incredibly long periods and they're very secure when you're running they don't move around at all they do stick out that tiny bit and there's a little bit of wind whistle but it's nothing that uh, annoyed me on runs i'd kind of forget about it very quickly um, there is also the sound quality to consider and these are fantastic on that front too i think at 180 pounds you might get things that are as good and if you like bassy music you might find that the sony's are, are better but i don't think you're really getting anything just objectively better than the bose in terms of sound quality at that price in my opinion. Um, it obviously kind of depends on the kind of sound profile you like from your headphones. And it is annoying that you can't fiddle with the EQ to tinker, uh, to change these to your preference. But even so, it's, it's an incredible sound and um, that, you know they really are stand out for that uh, within, the, within the area of sports headphones. So yeah, there is better value to be found at the same price point. Um, but those two things in combination have made these headphones that I reach for more than any others, including the B&O BO Play E8 Sport headphones, which are truly amazing, but very expensive and just not as comfortable as these. And most of the time, I'll probably value that comfort over anything else, um, along with the fact they have a secure fit for running.
So that's it guys, thanks very much for watching. Um, do please like and subscribe and ring the little bell so you get notified when we put a new video up. There are loads of headphones reviews on the channel. Uh, Mike's in a review of the Sony's, the Jabra Elite Active are on there, the Jaybird Vista, and we have a huge headphone roundup talking about our favorites. We've also reviewed the BO Play E8 Sport if you wanna check that out. So, you know, if you're still looking for headphones, not convinced by these, check out our other reviews, see if there's something that fits your preferences better. And uh, let us know in the comments below what your kind of key features on running headphones. Is it all about sound quality or is the fit the number one concern for you? Thanks very much and we'll see you next time.